So essentially we have this architecture that is able to not only enable 100% active silicon, but it really sets us up to incorporate and, and really accelerate the adoption of future electrode materials. We thought that there would be a better way to build a battery, and what we came up with is a very different architecture. We take strips of electrodes, and the strips are approximately, the width is approximately the thickness of the battery. The length would be approximately the length of the battery. We stack these electrodes in the horizontal plane instead of the vertical plane. We then take these unit cells, and then we repeat these unit cells as many as we need to get to the width of the battery that is needed. To hold all of these strips together, we wrap it in a layer of stainless steel that we call the constraint system. The purpose of this constraint system is to not only hold the structure together and make it mechanically incredibly robust because these electrodes are directly bonded to that constraint structure, but it also enables the use of a 100% active silicon anode.